Hello and welcome to this video where I will be showing you how to plug in a brand new PlayStation 4 controller into your PC and use it with any uh, controller supported game. So let's like go into my library. Uh, right now the PS4 controller works with games such as Fez and Super Meat Boy but say if you wanted to play Batman Arkham City um, which has um, full controller support by the way you wouldn't be able to because the PlayStation 4 controller drivers have not been either released or are not going to be released for PC. So what this does is it turns it basically makes the computer detect your um, PS4 controller as a Xbox 360 controller. So right now it is detected as a wireless controller. But if you click the link in the description, you will be taken to this um, to this blog post on hardcoreware.net and it has step-by-step -step instructions so I'm going to kinda show you how to do that so you download this file um, I'm going to uh, put it on my desktop right here um, and once you have that you want to extract it uh, just so you know I have WinRAR it helps with uh, oh wait I already have it right here but anywho but I have WinRAR so that helps with um, zip files and stuff like that but it's not necessary so once you extract it, you'll get a file or a folder with a bunch of files similar to this. You'll open up this. You'll click on here, but make sure your wireless or your PlayStation 4 controller is not plugged in, um, or else you might have some problems. You might not. It's just better to leave it unplugged. You click the install button, and it does a little setup thing. Um, now I had a few problems when I was trying to do this on my brother's computer. Um, and that was because um, he did not have the latest Microsoft.NET um, uh, C, uh, Visual C, and DirectX um, uh, softwares installed. Um, the way we fixed that, we just um, ran Bioshock Infinite, and it automatically installed those um, because we had just like reinstalled Windows on that, so it didn't have any of those at all. So installing or running a game usually installs those, but if not, um, install the latest ones of those, which it also shows on this post right here at the bottom. So once you have that installed, you plug in your controller, you run this little file right here, mm -hmm. and you he you heard that little sound. That was it detecting an Xbox 360 controller. So now you can just click that, minimize this, and you're good. X off these. Um, and then run a game. Um, let's see. I'll do Arkham City. I'm currently playing this one. Hopefully, the full screen capture thing will work. If not, I'll do some editing. Sorry about that. Uh, Arkham City, for some reason, I can't make windowed, or at least I don't know how. But Arkham Asylum, I do know how. So it'll open in a windowed form, so it might be kind of like to the right or something. I don't know. That's fairly normal. But anywho, it is now in Windows, so you guys will be able to see it. But you actually, is it? oh, dang it, I have it muted. I, I, I did that for the credits when I beat it. And now I can't unmute it for some reason. Okay. Oh, well, we're just going to have to deal with it muted, I guess. But once these credits are done, you will be able to see. All right, see, notice how it says press start or click to start. Um, see, it's got the Xbox controls in the bottom, but if I press a PC control, it switches to that. And now I'm moving it with the controller. You can hear the little joystick sound. But yeah, now it works with a controller. So let me just exit out of this real quick. And once I have my new Bluetooth antenna, because for some reason I was stupid and only ordered one with my computer. But once I get the antenna, I'll be able to use the controller over Bluetooth. Um, it's the same way, um, except when you have your Bluetooth device connected, you'll want to run the program, um, and it should work. And the way you stop it, usually you just press stop, mm -hmm. and then unplug the controller, or and X out of the program. You don't want to mm -hmm. do it when... Um, like you don't want to unplug the controller when the program is still running or you might run into a few issues but all in all it's perfectly good 
So that's it. Signing out. Goodbye.